this is uh, Ryan Fulton. We're here again at uh, Powerhouse Gym in Kalamazoo, uh, Michigan. Um, just went through a uh, 10 days out, just went through a, uh, a chest and bicep workout. Um, nothing too crazy today. Uh, we shot for about three and a half hours yesterday, so I'm, uh, I'm pretty worn out. Um, but uh, just trying to get a, just trying to get a workout in. We started off with uh, some hammer strength uh, incline press, and uh, nothing too heavy, nothing too crazy. Just get some reps going, get warmed up. Um, move to pec deck, just some some isolation, get some blood in the chest, um, and then back to uh, back to hammer strength for some uh, more of a decline movement. Um, same thing there, I just 10 days out. I don't want to push the weight too much, um, but just want to get some blood in there and get a, get a good pump and, uh, and do what I can. And normally you'd be using three weights, but you said your own gym, you don't have the hammer Yeah, we don't, we don't really have the hammer strengths. So when I get a chance to use it, um, I like to use that. But uh, at, at this point in prep, it's kind of nice. To, the hammer strength is nice because you can uh, you can load it up a little. Don't don't have to worry about dropping it on yourself and uh, do drop sets fairly easy. That kind of thing. Uh, and then we uh, then we went to biceps. Um, did a hammer strength curl there. Um, about four sets. And uh, on the uh, it's got sort of a preacher pad on it, so you can work on the peak of the bicep. And then uh, over to uh, standing dumbbell curl. Just a standard. Uh, Standard curl um, went a little bit heavier on a set, and uh, and that's about it. Okay. Good deal. Now, and again, you're uh, ten days out from the Gopher State, and then the plan is to do nationals in the fall. Then. Yes. Yep. Gonna do the Gopher State, try and requalify, and uh, and then try and make some improvements, um, rest up over the summer for uh, for nationals in the fall. Okay, and uh, tell us a little bit about your, uh, what you do for, uh, for a living about your daily job, like you're not a stay-at-home bodybuilder. Uh, no, I'm definitely not a stay-at-home <laughs> bodybuilder. Uh, <laughs> um, I, uh, well, my family owns a, uh, a restaurant called Mr. Pizza in, in Rochester, Minnesota, that uh, my grandpa started in, uh, in 1963, and uh, my parents own it now. And uh, I work there with them, and it's great. It's nice just working, uh, working in the family business, working with my, uh, working with my parents, some uh, good, uh, good coworkers up there that I really enjoy working with. And uh, yeah, just good, good time. And now you do have a family. How many kids you got, there? Yes, yeah, so I have three. I have three kids, um, all daughters. Um, Lucy is six. Josie is four and Maisie is two and uh, my wife Chelsea we've married for uh, seven and a half years now. Good deal. I think that's good to get it out there every once in a while. Um, yeah. You know, a lot of people think all bodybuilders specifically so no one has family and you know it's good to. No they definitely yeah they definitely uh, more to them than uh, than working out that's for sure. Yeah. yeah. Go ahead and give us your uh, background on how you got into athletics and stuff like that. Uh, well I've been in uh, I've been involved in athletics for my whole life, really. Um, I've always played, uh, always played baseball growing up. We were going about every weekend playing ball all summer. Uh, basketball, too. In, uh, in high school, when I was, uh, I was probably a sophomore, I was about 15, um, I started training uh, with weights for, uh, for football. And... Uh, Basically, been training ever since. I played uh, football, basketball, and baseball in high school, and then college. I played um, I played baseball at uh, University of Northern Iowa, and uh, just been training every chance I could get. I, I, you know, I wanted to be in the gym. Um, I always liked pushing myself and uh, and seeing how far I could take it, seeing how much I could improve, seeing seeing how much I could change my physique. And uh, after I was done with with baseball, I just kept I just kept working out, and uh, eventually, being a competitive person, I needed something else to compete in, and uh, 
bodybuilding just seemed like a natural thing for me. I think uh, I love uh, I love the challenge of uh, I love working out. I love the challenge. I, I think uh, my genetics respond well to uh, to training, dieting, um, all, all the things that bodybuilding encompasses. Well, and obviously you have good metabolism too. I mean, because uh, when people see how lean you are in this video, this has just been an eight-week prep for the show. This hasn't been. It's not like you did 16 weeks or anything crazy. Yeah, yeah. I stayed. I've stayed really lean um, the last the last couple of years, and uh, I saw the gopher was coming up and wanted to make a run at it, and. Uh, so I, you know, I really didn't need the full prep at that point. I just, uh, I just thought I could be ready, and I thought that I could push it and just see what, see what I can do, and, and get on stage and do it. Is there any advice? What advice would you give to like someone who's just starting out? You know, I know younger guys can get frustrated. Um, you know, if they don't see immediate response, it's like within two weeks, you know, they feel like, what are they doing wrong? What advice would you give someone just getting into the sport, starting out? Like? Yeah, it, uh, it takes time. I mean, you can't just you can't just look online and find some uh, some diet or workout that that works for everybody. It takes a lot of trial and error. It takes a lot of figuring out what exactly works for you. Um, I, I think that the with regards to training, the the most important thing, the biggest mistakes I see is people just trying to move just trying to move weight and move as much weight as they can by any means necessary, you know. Uh, it's, you have to concentrate and have that, have that muscle memory to concentrate exactly, that mind-muscle connection to use the muscle that you're trying to train uh, every, every single rep on the, the positive and the negative and, uh, and not get a bunch of other stuff involved and, and it's just not just about moving the weight. I mean, obviously you're 10 days out now, but like, so even during your off season stuff, you're never awake. Like, it's not like a big, you never, it's more repetition for you, just um, precision of the movement then. Yes, yeah, I mean, I'm not, I go heavy, but uh, it's weight that I can handle, and it's weight that I, if I'm trying to train chest, I'm, I'm using my chest to move the weight. Um, I, and But I really don't worry about the weight, I know what I can do. I know how many reps I should be getting, and um, and I push that. Sometimes I push it more. Sometimes I, you know, I'm not as strong that day, and I and I, and I don't make it to where um, to where I did the time before. But usually it it, it continuously goes up, and um, but it's really not about the weight, and uh, uh, it's more about the form and using the muscle, making sure the muscle contracts, using the muscle that you're trying to hit and just getting a lot of blood in there, really. And I mean, to a certain extent too, it's funny, while we were filming this video, someone came up to Ryan and said, well, what, at what point do you like say, oh, you're big enough or, uh, you know, are you happy with it? Like it's, um, with anything, I think you should try and keep advancing. I thought that was kind of interesting, I guess, but the guy said that. Yeah, you're never you're never satisfied with that. You know, I mean, if you if you're trying to be really good at something, you're not just going to get to a certain point and say, uh, "Oh, that's big enough." I'm, you know, I'm happy with that. You, you know, especially in this sport, we're never happy with it. We always see flaws that we're we're going to try and fix, um, and and areas that we're going to try to bring up. Okay, well, uh, good deal, man. Good luck with the show, and uh, we will. See you in the fall when you're here for nationals and try and get some videos hopefully out there in Minnesota and follow you around for a few days. That sounds great. Thanks for thanks for having me out here and uh, and doing this shoot and the uh, videos with me, Jeff.